having one deliverable and this is the secret recipe really that will allow you to go from six figures to seven figures consistently and have your business be kind of fucking boring meaning it's like a predictable money-making machine where you don't work all that hard in it for those of you guys who don't know me already by the way my name is frankie finn since 07 i've built three of my own agencies up to 100 plus clients i also wrote the book on how to do this and uh, i've also helped thousands of people worldwide to live this whole more beach less laptop agency lifestyle so let's get into it All right, this was a brilliant question brought on by our man Josh, and it is about a post I made where I said one deliverable, one niche, one solution, and one problem, and do it over and over again. And he said to me, can you kind of explain a little bit of this just so I really understand? I'm gonna give you an example, by the way, of how I've done this both wrong and right, and I hope you see the parallels in your own agency, because if you really get this, you'll make your life easier. So my first agency that we built up to 100 plus clients, it was about 120-ish, was a SEO agency for plastic surgeons. And to be honest with you, anytime somebody kind of showed up with a credit card <laughs> and a problem, that I thought I could potentially solve, I said yes. So this meant like probably like 60, 70% of our clients were plastic surgery SEO. But when somebody said, hey, Frankie, I, I'm a bankruptcy lawyer. Can you help me do SEO? I said, sure. And somebody said, hey, can you design a website? I said, sure. When somebody said, hey, can you edit some videos? I said, why not? I can edit videos. Can you do Google ads? Of course I can do Google ads. And what ended up happening is I didn't have systems and processes and and it's not like they were paying me top dollar for all these one-off things. So what ended up happening is I constantly was like bombarded with this. And I ended up working 80 hours a week, being constantly in meetings and just feeling like I could never like walk away from the business. I don't know if any of you guys ever felt like that, but it's really easy to, uh, to kind of like quit a job when it sucks, but you can't quit your own agency when it sucks. On the contrary, you have to keep working 80 hours a week and you have to keep being miserable and you have to keep doing it. So that's the situation I was in. Now that it is an example of doing it wrong. Now I wanna give you guys a, a counter example of doing it right. In my second agency, I'm not saying we did everything right, but we did this point better. So we had one solution. And so what we did is we were running Facebook ads for personal injury lawyers. Now, I don't know if we were the first ones in this space, but we were one of the first ones to run Facebook ads for injury lawyers. There weren't a lot of people doing it, so there's a lot of shit we had to figure out and it was a whole lot of confusing mess. I had to use a lot of the Schwartz. You have the ring. And I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. <laughs> now let's see how well you handle it. <laughs> I never get tired of that cutscene. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so what did we ended up doing is when we did Facebook ads for personal injury lawyers, whenever somebody came to us and they said, hey, can you do... Google ads, can you make a website? Do you do video editing? Do you have offer other solutions? I had to learn this magic phrase and you have to learn this phrase anytime somebody offers you a one-off project and the answer is no. <laughs> but instead of doing that in a way where it's douchey and you're turning people away, the best thing you can do to add value is find somebody you can recommend. So this is what we did. We would say, hey, I don't do that anymore, but I can recommend you somebody awesome. And I would turn over those people. And it actually worked out because a lot of those people would refer us business back. So you'll make the money back in other forms. But what ended up happening is then we only had clients that were personal injury lawyers trying to run Facebook ads. And what that meant is I could focus just on one thing. And so I only had to figure out this one thing. And what ended up happening is when the ads worked for one client, which took a while to figure out, but when we got them working for one client, what do you think we ran for the second client? The same ads. And what do you think we ran for the third client? The same ads, the same landing pages, right? Like, yeah, we tweaked them a little bit. We ha we'd have to update the lawyer's picture and change the phone number and the brand colors a little bit. But for the most part, like the same ads. And this meant I was really only managing one campaign 20 times rather than managing 20 individual clients. And I'll tell you, when you get this right, what you'll find is it's actually easier to manage 50 or 100 clients in this kind of agency than five to 10 when I was doing all this crazy amounts of custom work because it's mostly just copy and pasting and then I could build out systems and processes for that copy and pasting and then I could bring people in to like do the actual copy and pasting for me so I didn't even have to do the copy and pasting. It took a little while to figure out the systems part as well but when you do that, you'll just have a boring ass agency that works for clients and keeps them happy. You can have this well-engineered process that makes them money 
money and keeps you happy and feeds the machine. So this is why it's so key to have one deliverable one solution, one niche. A lot of people misunderstand what a niche is about. They're looking for this hidden secret source of money. And it's really about narrowing what you do to one thing so that you can copy and paste it over and over. The secret key to knowing you have this right, by the way, is if you start each client 90% finished, if you start client two, 90% finished before you even get them, meaning you're just gonna reuse the stuff from client one. If you start thinking about, this is a more advanced concept where you start thinking about leasing your assets instead of being like paid for your service. And I, I always explain it this way. Would you rather have a client paying you $2,500 per month for Facebook ads, or would you rather own a system that clients are paying $2,500 per month for. And almost always people say, I'd rather own the system. Well, when you understand that, that's what you're building and then you're leasing your system over and over, which will make you far more money than just being that person who's like the, the come one, come all service provider. And this is the key of going from six to seven figures because you'll do less. So I hope that's helpful to you guys. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and may the force be with you. Hey guys, if you like this video, you'll also like my book on Amazon called Beyond the Agency Box, which, can, which you can also find by my name, Frankie Finn, and it's got a lot of awesome reviews, and it really just goes deeper on a lot of the things we're talking about, everything you need to grow and start a lifestyle agency, from the stages you'll go through, to getting clients, to how to create winning offers, to high value deliverables, to wowing clients, to building teams, to building systems. And building a boring factory that's like a seven-figure money machine for you. So if you're interested, I put links for you in the video description as well as it'll be in the pinned top comment below and make sure to check those out.